Well, we need some voltage. Let's move that out of the way. I can probably do getting that off my uh, bench. I do have a bit of a strict rule actually about having drinks on here because it's the only place really that you can cause a load of mischief mayhem by screwing them. So, but I can't remember what three volts is in it, so I'm going to plug this into my vi five volt part of my power supply. Uh, which means no matter what happens, the worst I can do is give it 5 volts. But it is set for 3 volts and I've set it to 80 milliamp. Uh, we just need to connect a speaker, so we can just uh, put those over there. We'll disconnect from my little amplifier over here, my little home ground. Which is quite sweet actually, it's got Panasonic capacitors on it and all sorts and it does sound quite nice. And I do actually get, you know, pretty much 15 watts out of it um, at the voltage because my power supply here has got a it tells me what power I'm using what wattage I'm using as well so I can see when it's drawing the power what power I'm actually giving the circuit and that comes in really handy well, I don't know why I just made that so but we're going to need a little bit of a ferroid core thing going in here I noticed with the other one, if you don't put it in, you're not actually getting anywhere. Oh, at least this one goes in. The other one was a right pain, but I did get in eventually. Okay, so by rights, when I put the power on there, we should have some sort of life. Okay, if I can get these crocodile clips, which oh, I tell you what, you know, I don't know if it's me and my circuits. I do ask a lot from these clips sometimes, <laughs> these things, especially when I'm stacking them onto my capacitor banks and stuff and hitting the Tesla coil. Uh, right, let's shift them out of the way. Have a little bit of a tidy up. And then we're going to hit the power. So let's hit the power. Okay, it's not drawing anything because the thing's not switched on. So let's switch it on. It's drawing. It says uh, point. 7 amp, uh, but the level, yeah, 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 point zero zero seven amp. But we're not hearing anything, so let's just do a bit of that. Turn it up full blast, and we're not hearing anything. Oh, I know why I forgot. Now, that's something about these kits. Let's turn it off. That's something. On the other side, let's take this back off again. Ugh. On the other side of here, there are some little areas which, for some reason, you have to bridge. And within the instructions, of course, um, it's very hard to see anything about that because it's all in Mandarin and I through my ignorance do not read Magna Mandarin hmm so but here you have the bridge one two three let's get this light across there because it looks like I've left something out there as well what have I left out there oh the LED so we're going to put that in one two three four and there's four little tiny bridges so we're not connected to anything there either are we so where's that little led now the thing about the led is it needs to be on this side so we're going to make sure we get the polarity right and the polarity for there is going to be positive there so we want positive here and negative there. Now I don't know how far to stick this out, so I'm just going to do it like that. I'm going to solder it because we have to have it soldered, and I'm going to do the um, and I'm going to do the other thing. Uh, do them little jumpers, but just to save time here, I'm just going to do. This. Well, we got the little LEDs on the go. That, that lights up. That's not a problem. Uh, let's see the LED lit up. But we don't seem to have any volume. I was just looking on the back to see. But 
the connections here I don't seem to like it because this wire is very very thin and just connecting to it at least it gives you the impression that it's actually got a bit of life in it ok so that's better but we don't seem to be able to get a station or any sort of real output sound so that's off and that's all the way on it doesn't go any further but no no volume and I'm just having a look on the back to make sure that everything oh, let's get that off it is connected as it should be we do have an issue with the connection here that's what you can hear the popping sound but everything on the back here looks fine now I know this one works it just doesn't tune in we got a lot of sound with this one so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to compare a couple of bits on the back here just to make sure no that's it everything looks correct and in order Yeah, so possibly, possibly I've got the air on the wrong way around. So what we're going to do is just uh, just turn it off here, and turn it over, and just double check this aerial because this is the same sort of symptoms as I was getting yesterday. And do you know I've done the same thing again? I think it's. It's a close one to call, but I think that should be on B, and it's on C. Now that will cause this to not have any volume. So it seems like I need to change these two around, because as the wires come round, it's only one strand difference, and so it is easy to make that mistake. So that's what we need to do. We need to take that out, B and C, and swap those around. And then I think we're on to a winner. So let me just nip those out. The way I'm going to do this is to stop me from having to turn it over. And I am I was going to check, just checking on this recording there. So I'm going to turn it over. I'm just going to move that one out of the way there, and I'm going to pop this on this side. It's exactly the same as what I did to the other one. Okay, and that one onto B, and I think switch that down I think we now have a bit of a winner so let's switch it on and we got nothing that's what it's helpful isn't it that's that's uh that'll be absolutely phenomenal I'm pretty confident they're in the right places. Could that be the wrong way around? I don't think that would matter anyway if it was. But no, that looks like <coughs> excuse me. Looks like it's in the correct places. So I can't see anything wrong with the aerial side of things. Um, we've still got power coming through, but there's just no amplification, is there? It doesn't seem to be So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this tuning capacitor off here and I'm going to pop it onto the other one and see if we can get a... see if we can get anything better out of that.
Okie dokie, right, well, a little bit of perseverance and, um, you know, we had, uh, we had two of these, two of these boards, and this one I put together last night and couldn't get anything out of it whatsoever, nothing audible, anyway, audible, it was registering that it was using a bit of current draw, but it wasn't actually uh, giving us any, any, any audio output. So today I thought I'd have another little play with, with this because it had an audio output. And I played and played and I don't know how long I've put into this playing with those cans. Oh, three hours? <laughs> um, it's okay. I'm not being kept from anything. I don't actually have a life. So I ended up thinking, well. I've played and played with these and I noticed that these ones all seem to be like set pretty much at the top. So I thought, oh, I bet they don't bloody work either. And so anyway, I popped them on. Um, and with very little help. With very little help, I managed to get a I can turn this light off. I got my favourite radio station. I think I'll have a little dance later. But seriously, the actual capacity is really sensitive. I didn't check it. I didn't check it to see what the um, capacitance was actually across it. Maybe I should have done. But let's turn that up a bit. Right. I just got to check. Um, I've got a, I've got a laptop on fixing. I just got to check it. <laughs> I'm installing Fedora and sometimes when you leave it and it goes into standby in the middle of um, installing it, you have to restart the thing. Yeah, one player kicks the ball, another player gets it and kicks the ball, somebody else gets the ball and kicks it. There's only two people allowed to pick the ball up though. Three people. It is worrying times, isn't it, for the world of football? World, it's, it's well. so some roads and rail will be much busier than usual. Ooh. Okay. Okay, maybe I just won't travel. No, no, I won't have to worry about your stupid train. Uh, there's not that like, much for the old music stations. Maybe that's a good thing, because we don't want, you know, YouTube, Google, whoever, getting all upset and distressed that somebody might be making a buck off something. It's all football. Where's the music? I'm 
it's, it's all just football. Anyway, it works, there you go, so anybody wants to build one of these kits, yeah they do work, you might have a little bit of faffing about to do, but um, you might end up with a few spare parts, maybe, but it works, yay!